There's a brand new feature called Continuity Camera that's available for macOS Ventura and iPhones running iOS 16 or newer. Here are the five things that we love about Continuity Camera. Number one, it's super easy to use. All you need is an iPhone and a Mac running the latest software, and you can use Continuity Camera. And it will work with any iPhone, iPhone XR and newer. If you bought an iPhone in the last four years, you can use Continuity Camera. And because it's so easy to use, you can set it up, and even your remote guest can set it up very quickly. When you connect to your iPhone for continuity camera, you get a pretty satisfying little jingle. And this is recording directly in Riverside right now, and this is the quality you can expect. I'm using continuity camera, no cables, connecting my iPhone to my Mac, recording directly in Riverside. And you and your remote guests can do the same. Your remote guests can connect their iPhone with continuity camera right inside Riverside. You can double check they have the right camera and microphone connected in that right-hand sidebar, and you're ready to record high-quality video. If you have any issues running continuity camera on your devices, check out this video above, and that link is also in the description. We troubleshoot everything that you might run into when using continuity camera. Number two, continuity camera works all in your favorite apps. You can use it with FaceTime, recording in QuickTime, and you can use it in web browsers when you want to record online content with remote guests. It works with Riverside right out of the box. You can select your iPhone as your camera input, and you get high quality video way better than built-in webcams on your computers. Number three, Continuity Camera allows you to use effects right there on your Mac in Control Center. To access some of the video effects for Continuity Camera, go up to the Control Center on your Mac. Click the Control Center and then click Video Effects. Choosing Center Stage will now let the iPhone follow you as you move around the frame and will do its best to try and keep you centered. It will lower the quality a little bit because now it's using the ultra-wide camera instead of the main camera. So if you want the best video quality, I would turn off Center Stage. Now that we're back on the main camera, you can enable portrait mode. This will mimic the effect of a blurred background or bokeh from larger cameras like DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. And it does a pretty good job blurring the background. So if you want that cinematic or portrait effect, you can do it right in Control Center using Continuity Camera. And if you want to get an even greater cinematic effect, Studio Lighting will highlight your face, darken the background even more, and you get a studio look. And all these effects are happening live from my iPhone, being recorded in Riverside, and the effects are applied right in the control center. And here's the studio lighting effect without portrait mode, and here's the studio light effect off, and back on so you can see the difference. Number four, Continuity Camera gives you high quality video with your mobile device. The resolution when using Continuity Camera maxes out at 920 by 1440, which is a little higher than 1080p resolution, and it supports up to 60 frames per second. When you use Continuity Camera with something like Riverside to record your content, it will be 1080p at 30 frames per second. But because it's the iPhone camera, it does great at white balance, does really well in low light, and so you're going to get super high quality video from the mobile device you already have without having to purchase another camera. And number five, Continuity Camera allows you to help your guests get great video quality when they're recording with you. If you have an interview or a co-host and maybe they didn't have the best camera before, well now they can use their iPhone to get that high quality video without purchasing additional equipment. You can get a cheap tripod or even the Belkin MagSafe mount. We actually have an entire video talking about how to mount your iPhone for continuity camera. But any guest, even if you scheduled an interview with someone, you can recommend using your iPhone and they don't have to download any new software. They can just prop up their iPhone somewhere and now they have great video quality. And when you record with Riverside with your online guests, it's easy to select the iPhone as your video input. And if you're on a Riverside Teams account, you as the host or a producer can actually select the device they should be using for their microphone or video camera. So Continuity Camera allows you to get great video quality not only for your content, whether it's solo or recording with guests, but all of your remote guests and interviewees, they will all look great using Continuity Camera on their iPhone. If you'd like to learn more about using Continuity Camera, check out this video above. And if you need any help troubleshooting the issues with Continuity Camera, check out that video in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. We have great content on video podcasts, equipment recommendations, even how to automate your podcast publishing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.